Are you tired of constantly being met with the resounding no in your endeavors? Does the sting of rejection weigh you down, making it difficult to pick yourself back up? If so, it's time for a paradigm shift, a shift towards mastering the art of reverse psychology. Welcome to my channel where we explore all things behavior and psychology for a better you. If you find this content helpful, as always, remember to hit that like button and subscribe so that I can continue to provide even more content. So our brains are wired to perceive rejection as a personal attack, triggering emotional responses rooted in evolutionary biology. From an evolutionary standpoint, social acceptance and belonging were crucial for survival as individuals relied on group cohesion for protection and resources. Consequently, our brains evolved to interpret rejection as a threat to our social standing, triggering stress responses that heighten feelings of anxiety and diminish motivation. Furthermore, the neurochemical changes associated with rejection exacerbate these emotional responses. Research published in the Proceedings of National Academy of Sciences has shown that rejection activates the same brain regions associated with physical pain. Think about that for a minute. Additionally, rejection triggers a release of stress hormones like cortisol, as demonstrated in studies published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology. This hormonal response can dampen mood and reduce motivation, further perpetuating the belief that rejection is inherently negative and diminishes our drive to persevere. However, it's essential to recognize that rejection is a common experience shared by individuals across cultures and backgrounds. By reframing rejection as a universal phenomenon, rather than a personal failing, we can begin to dismantle the negative associations that hinder our growth. Moreover, studies such as the one published in the Journal of Experimental Social Psychology corroborates the transformative power of reframing rejection. Participants in the study who perceived rejection as an opportunity for self-improvement exhibited a greater resilience and motivation to achieve their goals. By embracing rejection as a constructive feedback mechanism rather than a personal failure, individuals were able to bounce back stronger and more determined than before. So really, every rejection is an opportunity in disguise. It's a chance to challenge the status quo, to defy expectations, and to rewrite the narrative in your favor. By embracing rejection as a catalyst for growth, you can transform setbacks into stepping stones towards your goals. So how do we do this? Well, there are many practical strategies for leveraging rejection as a positive force in your life. One such strategy is reframing rejection through cognitive restructuring. In other words, rather than interpreting the rejection as a personal indictment, reframe it as a valuable learning experience. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this rejection? How can I use this feedback to improve and grow? Reframing rejection is a powerful tool that can shift our perspective and empower us to view setbacks as those opportunities for growth. When faced with rejection, it's essential to consider alternative interpretations that can help us navigate the situation better with resilience and determination. So one effective way to reframe rejection is to consider that it may not be the right time for the person or entity that you approached with your idea or thought. Timing plays a crucial role in the success of any endeavor, and what may be perceived as a rejection today could simply be a matter of circumstances aligning in the future. By recognizing that timing is often beyond our control, we can approach rejection with patience and optimism, knowing that opportunities may arise when the timing is truly right. Another perspective to consider is that rejection may stem from miscommunication or a lack of clarity in our presentation. Sometimes our message may not resonate with the recipient due to misunderstandings or conflicting priorities. In such cases, rejection serves as valuable feedback that can prompt us to reassess our approach and refine our communication strategies. By taking rejection as an opportunity to clarify our intent and desires, we can improve our chances of success in future interactions. Additionally, reframing rejection as a form of redirection can help us maintain a positive outlook in the face of disappointment. Rather than viewing rejection as a dead end, consider it as a signpost guiding us towards a more suitable path. 
Perhaps the rejection is steering us away from a direction that is not aligned with our values or aspirations, leading us closer to opportunities that better align with our goals. Embracing rejection as a form of redirection allows us to embrace uncertainty and embrace the journey towards our true calling. It's also essential to remember that rejection is not a reflection of our worth as individuals. Each rejection is a subjective response influenced by a myriad of factors, many of which are beyond our control. So by depersonalizing rejection and viewing it as a natural part of the human experience, we can detach our self-worth from external validation and cultivate resilience in the face of adversity. You see, practicing self-compassion can mitigate the emotional toll of rejection. For example, research by Kristen Neff highlights the importance of treating oneself with kindness and understanding in the face of setbacks. By practicing self-compassion, individuals can cultivate resilience and bounce back from rejection with greater ease. So reframing rejection just simply evolves adapting alternative perspectives that empower us to see setbacks as opportunities for growth and discovery. Whether it's recognizing the role of timing, clarifying our communication, embracing a redirect, or depersonalizing rejection, the way we interpret and respond to rejection shapes our journey towards success. As you master the art of reframing your experience, you'll begin to see rejection in a whole new light. No longer will it be a source of discouragement, but rather a signal that you're on the right track. With each rejection, you'll inch closer to your goals, armed with the knowledge that setbacks are merely detours on the road to success. Thanks as always for tuning into my video. If you found these insights valuable, you know what to do, subscribe, like, but I'd also love to hear your comments. How do you view rejection? What have you found helpful? And have you implemented any of these strategies? Together, let's turn rejection into the fuel that drives us towards our dreams.